It wasn't supposed to be like this. Families are not supposed to fall apart. Parents aren't supposed to quit. Children were not supposed to be orphaned, abused, abandoned, neglected. A child hears repeatedly, you're sorry, no count worthless, you're never going to amount to anything. You hear that enough times, you're going to believe it. Regrettably, many of our parents either could not or would not take care of their children. Beagle Grants exists to give these children a chance at life. I had never attended school before, not even first grade, second grade, nothing, no education at all. I was supposed to be homeschooled, and I wasn't. I was 15 when I first moved to the ranch. My younger sister and I both moved. When Jessica and Michelle's older sister brought them to us, they sat down in front of my desk, and, and I looked at them, and I made the same four promises we made every child that's ever lived with us. I love you. I will never lie to you. I will stick with you to your grown, and there's boundaries, don't cross them. And then I asked Jessica, what do you want? And she said, could I graduate with my age group? What she was saying was, I'm not stupid, I'm just behind. Most of us have never had that stress of the emotional turmoil that, that our children have experienced in their childhood. You know, my biological family didn't love me. They couldn't take care of me. They didn't treasure me and value me at all. How were strangers I never met in my whole life going to be able to show me that unconditional love? Hey, sweet pretty hey, baby. Hey, Annabella baby. Are you having fun today? Are you good? Are so you Mr. Good? John came in and filled that role. He takes in children that no one has taken the time to love and to cherish and he makes them feel like there's never been anything wrong. Are you coming to my basketball games? Yes, I am. Yes. I wouldn't miss them. Woo! When you've been abused and hurt by the people that were supposed to protect you, your trust has been broken. You know, right there, it's just horses. You say, ah, it's just a bunch of just old eating horses. But to a little girl that's been really, really hurt, that is a trust rehabilitator because they learn to trust the horse. The horse depends on them. It builds self-worth. It builds, I am somebody. It's, it's a rush when you see a little girl come to the fence and, you know, and whistle, and her horse recognizes her voice and comes running. So you see that little girl light up. Our children are not bad kids. They come from bad circumstances. They come from bad situations that were not of their choosing nor of their calling. All the children at Big Oak Ranch attend Westbrook Christian School. This has been one of the greatest additions to the development of our children. very first day at Westbrook. I was so nervous because I had never been to school before. I think it was just that initial getting started and you can do this kind of attitude that I needed and that someone believed in me. My mom and my teacher both believed in me that I could make it and I could do it. And um, she did it. She covered eight grades in four years. She graduated from high school on time. She made it because someone believed in her. My dad was an All-American at the University of Alabama and was on the 73 national championship team and had aspirations of playing um, pro football in the NFL. He went to talk to Coach Bryant about that possibility. I said, Coach Bryant, 
Uh, I want to get the money from pro football and start this home for kids that we've been talking about. And he just looked at me and didn't blink. And he just said, don't play pro football unless you're willing to marry it. He said, go build that ranch you've been talking about. This is where it all began. I was 23 years old, and my dad brought me out here to this piece of property. And within about a month, I was living here with five boys. I didn't have a clue how to do this, but I knew God had called me to do it. The ranch was home to my brother Brody and me, just like it was home to all the kids who lived here. Growing up at the ranch, I think, did teach us that life really isn't worth living unless you are doing what the Lord has asked you to do. For me, that is a child care director. The commitment the ranch makes to the, the children placed in our care is love, for sure. We promise to take care of them, to uh, not only feed, clothe, provide for them, but to show them a new way of life, a life that is different from the cycle that they've come from. Hey, buddy. You ready? Big day at school. Raising a house full of boys, in one word, would be chaotic. It's a praying man. Smelly. There's something dead in where? Loud. Mm. Messy. Broken. You know, we break a lot of furniture. <laughs> <laughs> the past 11 and a half years have been the hardest years that we've had ministry-wise. This is, this is not an easy job to do to parent other people's children, but they've been the most rewarding, the most fun, the most fulfilling years. <laughs> our house parents are our frontline warriors. They are, they are the ones in the trenches with our kids. They're the ones um, holding our kids when they cry, helping our kids when they're angry. Um, they are the ones that the Lord is using as an agent of change in our children's lives. If they can learn that family looks out for each other, holds each other accountable, makes each other better, then they're better for their families down the line. Opportunity to know the creator of the universe. We're called to be faithful. Um, each morning that kid got up and he found us here. He found us sober, he found us clean, he found that there was food in the pantry, uh, there was gonna be a meal that night. He could count on us. Our job is to love, and we let the Holy Spirit do His work. So Sometimes it's just a waiting game. There have been countless boys that have come to this lake and learned to fish. And that old principle of, you know, teach a kid how to fish, you fed him for a lifetime. Same thing is true here. And if we don't teach them, then who is? It, it's a working ranch. And uh, there's dogs and horses and cows and pigs and chickens. We have found that a good work ethic, if you can teach a kid a good work ethic, it's going to help him be a great man. Thousands of boys have played football right here and, and have had a life and have got a chance at life. So this, this is just a, a happy place. I remember praying, God, I want to graduate from high school. I want to go to college. And now that I've accomplished the goals, those stepping stones that I needed, I am a senior at Auburn University. I have loved Auburn. It has been an amazing experience for me. 
The ranch takes 100% care of me, and that helps me to be able to relax and enjoy my time here at Auburn. I've accomplished things that I never thought were possible for me here. Because of Jessica's environment and childhood, she was told she wouldn't make it. She has now blossomed into a beautiful, confident, godly young woman who has a future and a hope, and she believes in herself and has no fear. When our guys leave the ranch, our hope is what has been invested in them bears fruit in due time. We got an email from uh, one of our guys that we had eight, nine years ago. He sent us a picture of him and his son. And he said, I know that you didn't think I was listening at the table in the morning during devotions, but I heard it. And when I finally got married, I got it. And I want you to know I'm, I'm being that husband. I'm being that father. And uh, when you get some letters and emails like that, you can get up in the morning and do it again. Big Oak has affected countless lives. We don't always see the fruit in the moment, but we look at it in a lot of ways is that we are seed sowers and we are planting the seeds. When we look at a child at Big Oak Ranch, we don't see just that child. We see their future children and then their children and the ripple effect of what Big Oak Ranch is doing right now will have an impact for generations to come.